come on in. I reckon one wants to be about 50 yards out through there. It's all about to kick off. The first rape crops are starting to be harvested and that means pigeons. Lots and lots of pigeons. George has had a call this morning to see if he can fend off the grey horde on this farm. I've said before I don't particularly like shooting pigeons at this time of year, although these have got to be shot. You know, they're causing a huge amount of damage uh, and we could, you know, for the purposes of filming and, and everything else, we could have a nice afternoon here, kill a hundred and do some good at the same time. Um, you can see what, what damage they're doing. You can see there's, you know, there's probably four or five hundred black on here and, and a lot of pigeons and uh, we want to stop this interview and get on. They started harvesting yesterday but decided it wasn't quite ready. It means they've created a perfect dining area. The cut stubble is where the birds sit eating the head height seeds, but George still needs to pick his spot with care. Not only where he sets up, but where he drops the birds. You know, I'm just trying to shoot them where I can pick them really. I, I certainly wouldn't shoot anything and not pick it. Um, and, uh, and we've got, you know, they've combined a few strips where the magnets are, they've combined. So I'm hoping that I can kill most of my stuff in that area and, and be able to pick it. Multi world champion clay shot George has had another hectic year and has had little pigeon shooting, but this looks promising. He's not shooting his usual Parazzi. This is the spare. The other special one is under lock and key, ready for this month's worlds in Portugal. Yeah, no, I've got a spare and I use that. Um, I, I take that when I go pigeon shooting. Purely and simply, it's exactly the same as my uh, competition gun, but I just take this one now and then, you know, if it does fall over in the hide or get broken. You know, the fact that we are in the competition season now and, uh, and I can't afford for it to be broken. George is selecting his birds carefully. He is determined to pick everything. The slow-mo gives us some great footage. Some of the birds flying into the shot pattern, just how George wants it. The, the fact that I shoot a lot of choke gives you a long shot string. I go through a target from behind push on out in front, push that shot pattern out in front and the lead out in front. So consequently, when a pigeon flies into it or wherever the game bird I'm shooting flies into it, the first thing it meets is its head. So obviously, for me, I try and head shoot everything I do and, and by head shooting it, the bird is flying into the shot string rather than me putting the shot string on the bird. The birds are constant and either coming from in front or the left hand side. One thing that has been keeping George busy this year is the launch of his new club, Club Digweed. I'm very excited about it actually. You know, I think there's a great opportunity there, something that, that hasn't been done in the way that I intend to do it. And I want it to serve a purpose and be informative and be instructional and informational. But I also want us to have fun and, and you, know, you know, whilst it's going to be a paid membership, there'll be plenty of club shoots throughout the world, you know, we'll get a different venue. So this this year we're in Portugal for the World Fit Ash, perhaps next year in America, you know, we can look at doing an American club shoot, club member shoot. It goes live at the beginning of August and its main themes are fun, value for money, plus you get a slice of the great man. It's a project that he's really excited about. Yeah, they're going to get a big slice of me. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, everybody will get as much out of it as, as what I'm looking to put into it. It's the first time it's been done in shooting and will offer loads of benefits, including video tips as well as insurance and merchandise offers. Back to the bag and it's building nicely. The combine helps keep the birds off the far end of the field and it's not the only thing gathering the rapeseed. I've just shot this pigeon and there's the rape. It goes to prove what they're eating. And with that rape, with that many brown seeds in there, it's only just ready. You know, rapeseed oil is... Uh, He's very, very prominent in uh, very prominent in the shops now. I know a very good friend of mine, Andy Fussell, is producing rapeseed oil by the million gallons uh, and supplying all the supermarkets with it now. And it, so, if he's doing that, it must be good, and, and so it can only be good for the pigeons. The birds just keep coming, but we need to head off. With definitely 120 plus birds, it's George's best bag of the year. So I should think we've killed 120. Um, we've still got a fair bit to pick up yet. Uh, but no, it's been a good day and you know, we've done a bit of 
done a bit of good on this field. They've come out here combining it this afternoon. We've got a few shots with the combine in behind the pigeon when we've been killing it. Um, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that we've done a good enough job to keep the pigeons off uh, until the combine got here and was able to get as much crop as possible. In fact, it was 134 birds. As the crops come off, the banks are only going to get bigger. For more information about Club Digweed, go to georgedigweed.com.